everybody, this is Dan Miller for Bluegrass Unlimited Magazine, and we're going to have another uh, segment here on playing fiddle tunes on the dobro. Uh, last time we did the A part to Blackberry Blossom, and today we'll look at the B part. As always, it's kind of nice to uh, look at the chords first to orient yourself uh, to what you'll be playing over. And the B part to Blackberry Blossom is interesting because uh, it goes to an E minor chord right off the bat and then goes to a B7 chord um, in the first uh, two, uh, two two bar phrases. And then for the second uh, phrase, it goes back to the E minor and then it goes to your C, G, D, G. Okay? So it'll be. bars, which again, from previous uh, lessons we're going to call the theme, are all, it's all under that E minor chord, two bars of E minor. The answer to the theme is an E minor and then a B7 or a B, okay? Then you go back to the E minor chord for two bars for the, um, the uh, sub-theme, and then you're going to go to the resolving phrase, which is that half measure of C, half measure of G, then half measure of D, resolving to a half measure of G. So that's the chords we're working with. And some people get really fancy with the B part of Blackberry Blossom. I'm going to play it real straight and simple. I think the melody to the B part is fairly straight and simple. Uh, again, you can embellish it and make it as fancy as you want to. But again, we're trying to play fiddle tunes fast on the dobro. So the simpler, the better. Um, I'm going to start off with the E note. And slide into that, and then I'm going to hit octave an octave E up. Both on the, I start on the the D string, the the wound D string, and then I hit the first string with my uh, bar on the second fret. So that's an E string too. So I go E E, and then I open to D, go back to E, and then I repeat that, and then I hammer. going back to D, and then I'm hitting that B string open again. So my bar is just hovering around that second fret, so there's not a lot of, a lot of bar movement. And that's going to be um, your theme. So your answer to the theme is going to be a measure of E minor and the measure of B7. Start at the same. So I'm going to move down to the 5th fret here. So I'm at the 5th fret I'm going, going uh, keeping the bar on the 5th fret, lifting up, and playing open 1st, open 2nd. And then I put my bar on the 5th fret of the 2nd string and play that, and play the 1st string open. 2nd string open, and I'm ending on an A note. Again, that's under that B7 chord, and an A note is in the B7 chord. So again, that, that, that part, the theme and the uh, answer to the theme. Okay? So now the sub-theme is going to be just like the theme. Okay, now over that C, G, D, G resolution, I'm going to go. Okay, I have my bar on the fifth fret, and I'm just hitting one, two, one, two. Okay, I'm opening the first string and then I'm barring the fifth fret of the second string back to the open uh, first string and I'm sliding from four to two and then pulling off from two to zero and then I'm pulling off two to zero on the D string and then I'm open G. So again the whole thing is 
instead of going that's a little bit of movement you can go like this and then just pull your bar to the second fret and walk down so it would be going kind of cool. First time through you can do it the first way, second time through you can do it the second way. So um, work that out. The B part to Blackberry Blossom. It's pretty straightforward and uh, enjoy putting that together with the A part. A part goes through twice, B part goes through twice and uh, you know get some practice and get your speed up on that and I think you'll do good. All right this is Dan Miller for Bluegrass Unlimited Magazine. <laughs>